You know what's overrated? Making sense. Sure, standard narratives are great and all, but they're not always necessary to make a horror compelling. Through atypical story structures, mind-bending special effects, and plot points that defy nature, these movies are all utterly bonkers and thrillingly gripping all at once. So, with that in mind, I'm Ellie with What Culture, here with 10 awesome horror movies that make no sense whatsoever. Number 10. House House is a 1977 experimental horror comedy from Japan, with an emphasis on the word experimental. The movie follows a group of schoolgirls at a country home slowly being picked off by a supernatural force. This thing has the holy trinity when it comes to being odd. First of all, most of the actors involved were amateurs, making for some very interesting performances. Second of all, it's an older movie, so the special effects are all over the place. Third of all, it was made in Japan, and they do things very differently over there. Any anime fans out there will get that. Sentient pianos, hovering heads, vomiting cats, this movie has it all. Even the trailer comes off like a total fever dream. House has obtained a cult classic status and is much more popular today than it was when it was first released. It consistently appears in lists of best Japanese horror movies and helped inspire the works of Sam Raimi and Peter Jackson. If you've got a spare 88 minutes and can handle having your brain scrambled, then this is the movie for you. Number 9. The Endless Aaron Moorhead and Justin Benson are a creative partnership known for pushing the boat out when it comes to horror. Their 2012 picture Resolution was heralded by many as a new spin on the tense, slow-burning horror film. 2014 Spring is about a man who travels to Italy because he's fallen in love with an octopus monster. And then there's The Endless from 2017. Set in the same universe as Resolution, The Endless also stars Moorhead and Benson as two brothers who were once part of a cult. The film documents their journey back to said cult and what they find once they get there. On a deeper level, The Endless is a film about two siblings trying to reconnect with one another. However, at face value, it's an absolutely manic film about aliens, time loops, and the most terrifying thing of all, physics. Moorhead and Benson's filmmaking, as well as their decent performances, make The Endless really great to watch in spite of its very heavy sci-fi plot. The Endless will make you feel very confused after you finish it, but you get the feeling that's sort of the point. Number 8. Mandy Without a Barry Manilow song in sight, 2018's Mandy stars Nicolas Cage as a reclusive alcoholic and Andrea Riseborough as his artist girlfriend. In principle, Mandy is a very simple revenge thriller. Riseborough's character is tortured and murdered by a demonic biker gang, and it's up to Cage to avenge his fallen love. Pretty simple, right? It is, until you realise that this gang also enjoys a particularly potent strain of LSD. Q hallucinations are plenty as a drugged up Cage battles with the evil hog riders who also happen to be cannibals. Oh, and there's the small matter of the devil-worshipping cult who hired the gang in the first place, just in case things weren't weird enough already. Despite sounding madder than 20 boxes of frogs, Mandy scored very favourably amongst fans and critics alike. Many praised Cage's central performance, as well as the gory violence and emotional undertone to the piece. One reviewer even likened director Panos Cosmatos to Stanley Kubrick and David Lynch. As you'll learn later on in this list, that's a good comparison to have. Mandy. The film that proves that it's okay to take drugs, just as long as you're Nicolas Cage. Number 7. Annihilation who knew that something called The Shimmer could turn out to be so dangerous? That's the focal point of this 2018 film from ex machina writer Alex Garland. It stars Natalie Portman as the head of a group of scientists who enter an alien phenomenon to find her missing husband. What they find inside is unlike anything they've seen before. The Shimmer has mutated all the life inside of it, transforming animals into strange, aggressive hybrids and plants into sentient humanoids. This is where the mumbo jumbo comes in. Whilst trying to explain The Shimmer, one of Portman's team brings out all the techno babble you could shake a transmographer at. It's hard to tell if what she's actually saying is real science or just a bunch of words the scriptwriters pulled out of a dictionary at random. Then there's the ending, which sees Portman's character and her husband reunite. Or do they? Because some of the creatures inside the shimmer can shapeshift and steal people's faces. It will leave you scratching your head, but there's enough action and excitement in this movie to push all that to one side. Number 6. Mother 
From the brain of Darren Aronofsky comes Mother, a twisted psychological horror about a seemingly idyllic couple whose world gets turned upside down. It is then pulled inside out, flipped back to front and split in half. Heavily inspired by the Bible, Mother is the story of a woman whose husband is a famous poet. She struggles with the arrival of a new couple into their neighbourhood, as well as a pregnancy and her spouse's fame. The reason we haven't mentioned the characters' names yet is because there aren't any. Jennifer Lawrence plays Mother, Javier Bardem plays him, Ed Harris plays man, and Michelle Pfeiffer plays woman. It's that kind of movie. Viewers should have known right from the start that this wasn't going to be a conventional film. It opens on him placing a crystal object in the middle of a burnt out house, which creates a brand new house and Lawrence's character. Strange and deeply unsettling, Mother is mind-bending the best way possible. You have to just let it wash over you, enjoy the sensation that it creates. If you try and make any sense of it, you'll forget your own name in the process. Number 5. Eraserhead Ah, David Lynch, we knew you'd turn up here eventually. The founder of Twin Peaks and the world's most mad pensioner, David Lynch has been making nonsensical masterpieces since the late 70s. 1977 to be precise, which is the year his first film Eraserhead came out. It's hard to know where to begin with this one. We could start with the opening scene in which a giant sperm flies out of one of the characters' mouths. Or how about the weird snake baby that the main character Spencer has to take care of? Or maybe the dinner scene with the moving turkey? See, it's a mind field. None of that matters though because Eraserhead is a sublimely surreal exploration of human fear and very few films come close to matching it for pure guttural feelings. It kick-started Lynch's film career, so we have it to thank for The Elephant Man, Mulholland Drive and Blue Velvet. Also those weather reports on YouTube, his greatest cinematic achievement. Eraserhead is not a film for those who enjoy a conventional narrative structure. It's best to just sit back, relax and let the madness take you away. Number 4. Pink Floyd, The Wall Calling this a horror film might be a teensy bit of a stretch, but there are enough freaky elements of this 1982 surrealistic musical film by the late great Alan Parker to classify it as a psychological horror. The film was co-written by Roger Waters, bassist of the band Pink Floyd. In case you couldn't already tell, the movie draws inspiration from the group's 1979 album, The Wall. Bob Geldof stars as a man who struggles to come to terms with the death of his father. The wall he builds is emotional as well as physical, as he tries to protect himself from his feelings of grief. The movie is almost entirely without dialogue, instead being driven along by music. It also features a non-linear narrative structure, being told through a series of flashbacks across the main character's life. Said life is full of sadness and strangeness in equal measure. There's drug taking and hallucinations, and worms, and strange children wearing gas masks. It's all very weird, very nerve-rattling, but all in all, an excellent exploration of how people deal with their feelings. Number 3. Rubber Horror movies have had some strange antagonists over the years, but perhaps none are weirder than the living car tyre with psychic powers that runs amok in 2010's Rubber. Or should that be rolls amok? Before Robert, yes the tyre is called Robert, even shows up, things get wacky. The film actually starts on a group of people watching a film. They are given binoculars by a local policeman who then cycles away. The two stories begin to intertwine as the policeman tries to hunt the murderous tyre down whilst the audience watch on. They then begin to starve, leading to a particularly gross scene where they devour a raw turkey. Robert is supposed to be a comment on the film industry itself. The fact that a tyre is the main character is meant to show that audiences will watch anything that's due Studios shove in their faces. Even if you know this, the film will still hurt your brain if you think about it for too long. It's a fantastic exploration of the power of Hollywood and the relationship it has with paying customers, but maybe not ideal for a Sunday afternoon snuggle. Number 2. Donnie Darko Widely regarded as a masterpiece, 2001's Donnie Darko is, to put it lightly, utterly off the rails. Starring a prepubescent Jake Gyllenhaal as the title character, the movie is about a troubled teenager who gets visions of a psychotic rabbit. You know, classic teen stuff. Not only does Frank the Rabbit force Donnie into committing crimes, but he also predicts that the world will end in a month's time. All of this comes together in a movie that will leave you wondering what the hell is going on, but also reeling at its marvellous exploration of mental health struggles. It's a hard film to watch for plenty of reasons, but an absolute must for anyone who considers themselves a fan of cinema. The movie is bold, challenging and entirely unique. There really hasn't been anything like it before or since. Its legend has only grown due to the fact that director Richard Kelly has only made two more films in the years preceding. Wait a second, there's a sequel? And Kelly is working on another sequel due to be released soon? This is not going to end well, is it?
Number 1. The Shining Stephen King has never been one to make things easy for us. The master of modern horror loves a complicated plot twist or convoluted backstory or ambiguous ending. None of his works exemplify that better than Stanley Kubrick's adaptation of The Shining. After Jack Torrance is left outside to freeze off the back of his crazed rampage, the camera slowly zooms in on a picture of the Overlook Hotel from 1921. But the movie is set in the 80s. How is Jack in two completely different timelines at once? Mind blown. Much has been made over the ending of The Shining, with professional critics, scholars and amateur buffs alike all contributing their theories as to how Jack is in the picture. Once they work that out, maybe they can move on to the weird naked lady and the elevator full of blood. We'd like answers to those too, please. In the end, the reason why all the bad stuff happens to the Torrance family doesn't matter. King loves to stretch the psyche of his character through the supernatural, and there are few better instances of this than in Kubrick's classic film. And that concludes our list. If you think we missed any, then do let us know in the comments below. And while you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe and tap that notification bell. Also head over to Twitter and follow us there. And I can be found across various social medias just by searching Ellie Littlechild. I've been Ellie with What Culture. I hope you have a magical day and I'll see you real soon.